Do you guys like feeling powerful? Yes! Do you guys enjoy explosions? Yes! And how about ridiculously long supers? answered yes to any of those questions, I have the build for you. This is to go even further beyond. What is up guys? Stealing Kills here back at it again with another Destiny 2 video. In today's video we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I know most people see me as a PvP only type of guy but I do dabble with uh, PvE every now and again and I wanted to make this video to help show this build that I've been using for a while now and I think it's really under the radar and not a lot of people use it and I don't believe a lot of people know about it. So of course it's going to be for the, uh, the Titan class here and as you can see this is the loadout that I'm running. And we're going to go a bit more in depth with it in one second. But just know that involve, it involves a lot of explosions and it involves a lot of fun. So it's going to be a strict ad clear build and we will dive deeper into the loadout right now. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is break down the super and subclass that we'll be using for this build. Um, some of you may have seen it before. It was the, it is the Middle Tree Sentinel Titan, Code of the Commander. So what we're going to do is go through each little thing that the subclass has to offer, break it down so you can understand how it works with the build. So the first thing that we have up is going to be the melee. It's a very important part of the build and the melee states that you strike an enemy with this melee ability to cause a void explosion. Pretty simple, straight to the point, but it builds on itself as it goes. Secondly, we have this uh, resupply perk. So you and nearby allies regain health as well as grenade and melee energy when your void detonators explode. So I'll explain this right now. When you melee an enemy or you hit them with a grenade, it attaches these like sparkly purple void detonators to the enemy. Once you deal additional damage to that enemy, these void detonators explode, cause damage, and every time a void detonator explodes, then you get more of your grenade energy back and your melee energy back. We then have Controlled Demolition. You hit a target with the Void ability, like I stated, and it attaches a Void Detonator. Further hits cause this detonator to explode, dealing damage to surrounding targets, and I believe that the Void Detonators can actually expand and attach to more targets if those first initial targets explode. And then finally, you have the super. I do enjoy the super because it has a lot of utility to it. The first part of the super is good in a pinch for you either can block with the shield as you're getting a res and it negates all damage that um, the enemies are doing for you. Or you can use it in a pinch for DPS phase. You can hold the shield up and have your your allies shoot through it they get a 30 percent weapon damage buff and the super lasts longer as long as someone is shooting through it now that is an awesome trait that the super can do but we will not really be using that in this build what we're going to be doing is using the sentinel shield like you normally would when you're attacking you're meleeing you're throwing your shield 
And a lot of people don't realize that when you throw your shield with this middle tree super, it counts as a melee. So every time you hit something and it ricochets from one enemy to another, it attaches those void detonators that cause those explosions. So it's really easy to chain kills with the super. The next thing that we have to talk about and a very, very important part of the build is the seventh serif SMG that I'm using. Now with this SMG, and what's special about it, it can actually cause Warmind cells to spawn. And that's going to be the big basis of this build. You spawn a Warmind cell, you shoot it, it causes an explosion. Sounds awesome. Now, the reason I love this roll on this SMG is obviously it has arrowhead break. So better recoil um, stability, which is great. Drop mag on it, so a faster reload every time I reload the gun. A big part is Ambitious Assassin, so every time I get a kill and then reload, it gives me plus three to the magazine. So let's say I get two kills and reload, that's plus six. So I'll have six more um, bullets to use against adds, and it really can add up. So you, you start with only 27 bullets. I've had them as high as 41 plus bullets before in the magazine so it actually adds a lot of dps potential to the weapon the big part of this weapon that i thoroughly enjoy is going to be the dragonfly perk yes it's not as good as like a firefly perk was in d1 but it still works pretty well and for those of you that do not know how it works a precision kill causes an elemental damage explosion so if you get an, a, a headshot kill, then it explodes and it can kill adds that are right next to it when they explode. What's cool and a, a good combination to have is sometimes you'll have a void detonator on an enemy and they'll be standing to, next to a group of energy uh, enemies. And then when you shoot them and cause the dragonfly explosion, that chains to other enemies on top of the void detonation explosion too so you have this huge explosion that can clear out a whole group of enemies with one kill and then to add a little more deadliness to it i put on the dragonfly spec mod which increases the radius and the damage of the dragonfly explosion which is awesome so hopefully you're starting to see how the explosions tie into the build and why it's so fun Next, we're going to break down my armor and go over the perks of that. And we are going to start with the helmet. So as I mentioned before, we have a War Mind Cell build going on. And the first perk that we're going to go over is Sheltering Energy. Collecting a War Mind Cell grants you an overshield. So when I was first making this build, it was very offensive based. But I started to notice that sometimes... You could be at the, the lower part of um, an ad wave or maybe there's only one ad left and you would spawn a war mine cell. Obviously, if you shoot the war mine cell and blow it up and there's no ads around, then you're not getting the benefit of the build. So I like sheltering energy because if you pick it up, it gives you a 20 second overshield. And every time you pick up a, uh, a war mine cell while your overshield is active, it resets the timer. And 20 seconds is a good amount of time for you to have an overshield and additional damage resistance which is great on top of that it's an easy way to let's say you're hurting your red bar you might die you could pick up the war mine cell and it adds instant health regeneration so you can kind of use it as like a as a way to proc your health instantly if you are hurt with the gauntlets and the over or the war mine cell perk on here coincides with the first one and it's going to be modular lightning collecting a war mine cell creates a burst of chaining arc energy around you i chose this perk because if you're in a pinch and let's say you accidentally run into a war mine cell which definitely happens or you're just hurting like i mentioned before and you need an overshield this ha adds an offensive aspect to the defensive aspect of uh, sheltering energy so when you pick it up not only do you get an overshield it actually chains electric to all the enemies around you and if it doesn't kill them 
usually it will make them one shot or hurt them enough where they're actually an easy cleanup. So I like the, the synergy between that those perks. And as you guys may have noticed, I have Doomfang pauldrons on. So how this exotic works um, is in, in two parts. So the first part is going to be when you just get a normal void melee kill, it has to be charged, you get super energy back. Okay, you get a good chunk of super energy. Why this is important is because if you don't have your super, then how the uh, the gameplay flow goes is you're going to melee something and get a kill and get your super energy back. Then what I try to do is find a group of adds, throw my void grenade into them, and attach detonators to them when they explode and make sure those void detonators explode. We do that because if you remember from before, as those detonators explode, you get your grenade and melee energy back. The faster you get your melee energy back, the quicker you can use it again and get more super energy on top of that. So yes, you're doing ad clears. Yes, you are trying to kill as many things as you can, but the overall goal is to get your super as fast as you can so then you can just wreck house with it and clear as many enemies as possible. The second perk of the Doomfang Pauldrons is when your Sentinel Shield, so your super is active, melee kills recharge your shield throw, which extends your super on hits. So let me explain it a little easier. You have your shield throw, which counts as a melee, and you throw it and every hit, not kill, but every hit as your shield bounces off enemy to enemy, it extends your super. So once that happens, you usually have to wait five to seven seconds to get another shield throw. But with these gauntlets, what you do is you shield throw and then you normal melee an enemy closer to you. And as long as you kill the enemy, it gives you another shield throw. So the gameplay loop here is to shield throw to extend your super get a normal melee kill that gives you your shield throw back jump up throw your shield again rinse and repeat and what's so powerful is like i mentioned before your shield counts as a melee so as you're hitting those ads your shield is putting void detonators on everything too which causes more explosions and as you've seen in the clips before your super can last a very long time like on average if you were just running the super normally i would guess maybe seven eight nine seconds for the super but with the void vangs i mean you can push it to 25 plus seconds easy and you're just getting kill after kill after kill making orbs clearing ads it's it's amazing and it's incredibly fun to do next we have the chess piece with the um, Rage of the Warmind mod on. So this adds additional solar damage to the explosions of Warmind cells. So as you saw in a the previous clip before the breakdown, um, I shot one Warmind cell and it took about seven or eight enemies out with one explosion. Um, they weren't even near it. They were probably 15 feet away, but it decimates everything. The Warmind cells are already very, very strong. This just adds more power to them so it'll definitely kill red bar enemies but anything higher than that it's just going to add more damage to them so then it takes you less time to take them out on my leg armor here um, what we have is going to be the war mine protection this is kind of the wild card um, draw of the build. You can put whatever you would like on these. Um, I have void boots on, so this is the, the perk that I went with. And what this perk does is any enemies that are near war mine cells, you take less damage from. So you can use this in a pinch where, let's say you're taking a lot of damage, you can't get into cover. Instead of trying to die and maybe explode the war mine cell, you can just leave it there and just take less damage from enemies while you get into cover or what happens a lot for me is maybe you'll start killing things and a war mine cell will spawn but you don't notice it you're passively getting that perk then and taking less damage from any 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 enemies near that war mine cell and as you're maybe have your back turned you're killing all the enemies um and there's some behind you shooting you in the back you're just taking less damage which which is awesome 
and it's just a nice passive perk to have on there but again you can put any perk that you would like that suits your build or that you find um, more important than possibly this one and lastly on my titan piece here my mark is probably one of the most important perks of the uh, the build here and this is global reach so war mine cells you create effect and damage targets at a greater distance um you have to have this perk i feel like it is incredibly important um i've never watched a video on how much more range that it adds to your war mine cell explosions but i'm guessing it's two to three times longer distance it's ridiculous the amount of ads you will kill from how far and you'll see some that are like 30 feet away and they'll still be taking damage you might not kill them but they'll still have damage numbers come up when you explore uh, explode the warmind cell it's awesome i believe it is a must have especially when it only takes one energy to have it's kind of a no-brainer but i definitely think you should put that perk on and test it out and to reiterate this is not a, a build for high tier content um for grandmasters it is strong but there are better builds and it is obviously not a dps build this is going to be a straight ad clear build you're in a raid you are in battlegrounds you are trying to kill as many things as possible as quickly as possible you're trying to make the whatever the activity you're doing easier for your teammates so you are clearing ads while they focus on an objective like dps or it, whatever else capturing a point something like that so this is what this uh this build is actually made for it's a ton of fun and if you like causing explosions and th seeing things go boom i definitely think you should try it out and i think this one is is for you and that's the build guys i know this video was a bit on the longer side um i wanted to be very thorough though and try to explain every little piece of the build that I could because I want to I don't want to make a video and give you guys a half-assed explanation about how the build works especially if you're going to try to replicate it if I leave a part out that maybe is important or don't explain something very well so you guys don't understand it it could lead to a poor build or just having it not work as it's intended so Hopefully you guys understood what was going on and let me know in the comments if you try it out, if you like it, or give me some recommendations for a different build that you guys like to run and you think that I should try. I'm going to be putting a few more clips of the build that I took after you see the uh, the screenshots of some of like the strikes and whatnot I ran to see how many kills I'm getting compared to my teammates. Just to reiterate and enforce how how strong the build is and how many kills that you can get and i believe the last few clips represent the build very well and it'll, it'll help you understand how it's best made and how it's best um to be utilized so i really really appreciate your time thank you for watching and until next time this has been stealing kills have a great day